And that's good, actually, because if we were to add this, well, we'd get some pretty big numbers. And that's no good. So, uh, by the order of operations, we've got to do the exponents first. So, if we looked at this negative 2 over 5, we have that four times. And in this case, we have four negatives. Four is even, so we know our answer is positive. We don't even have to worry about the negatives then. And we got 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Four twos. So 2, 4, 8, 16. And the denominator is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, which would be, I want to say 625. It's a big number. <clears throat> I skipped the first set of fives. But that would give you the 625. The next thing we got to do is find out what 5 over 4 is multiplied by itself three times. So 5 fourths. This one also will give us a fraction. Well, 5 times 5 is 25 times 5. We'll just stop there at 125. And 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64. So really what we have is 16 over 625 times 125 over 64. So we got 16 times 125. So there's the work for that. So this equals 2,000 over. We got to do 625 times 64. So there's the work for the denominator. All right, now this is only applicable when the numbers end with zeros. But we can cancel out these zeros. It's kind of like we just divided both of these by 100. And when we look at this without those zeros, we have 2 over 40. Both of these are even, so we can divide both of them by 2. And we get 1 over 20. Done. So that's our first fraction expanded. The second fraction expanded, right? So this is what we have overall. Again, we, we're not worried about the negatives because we have an even number of negatives. So we know our answer is a positive. But uh, see how we have these three fives here in the numerator? Well, they're going to cancel three fives out in the denominator as well. So those kind of get canceled away. It's just a different way to look at it, okay? Not only this, but if we look at these two twos multiplied together would give us four. These two mul twos multiplied together would give us four. They cancel each other out with these two fours. So in the numerator, there's nothing left. So I could just say there's a one. We can multiply all those by a phantom one. Then we've got five times four, which is 20. Now I did that a little quick, but um, that may not be as obvious as it is to other people. So.